My role in the port, historically, has been involved in the business side of the house. My job has been to interact with our container line customers, our container terminal customers, railroads, and beneficial cargo owners. All these different pieces of the business makeup of the port really was the heart and soul of what I did. This has changed and my role has changed due to our efforts in the digitization process in the port. Uh, before this happened in the last five or six years, um, I did not interact with the IT group in the same way I do today. I did not get out there and talk about how our customers can connect to us and how we can connect to them on a digital platform. The digital platform effort has required a lot of our business skills because it's having to get the information from our customer base who hasn't always been willing to share it or in the past didn't understand how this process worked and the protections we are involved in when it comes to the digital marketplace. This digitization has changed my career path. Uh, I'm not an IT person. I didn't start out working with this areas. Again, really working and focusing on our customer base. Our customer base um, and getting that business, keeping our docks full, keeping our warehouses full, keeping the railroads moving. That's what we focused on and that's what I did. This new realm that I'm getting involved in is really an exciting piece as the ecosystem of the supply chain changes throughout this new model that we're using, which is to integrate all these different pieces of technology, integrate all these different data platforms, and more importantly, get that information out to our customer base, showing them how to do it in a safe, secure manner, and more importantly, alleviating any fears they might have of what this data could involve or should involve, and what may or may not be used for it. And I think that's really the important part and the big change in what I have done in my work role. The future is always a great question because we just don't know. I think the Internet of Things, which has been around for a while, really is starting to take hold in the supply chain. New advancements with having sensors and uh, repeaters inside containers on every container in a given fleet, hundreds of thousands of containers. All that data needs to be coalesced and used for a positive purpose to move that cargo operations through the port. And that's really, I think, what our future is going to hold. Taking that technology, taking that data that we can find and giving it out to our customer base in the best way.